BYU Hawaii, I'm Allie. And I'm Josh, and today we have an exciting edition of the Kalakai News Show. Last week was an exciting time as clubs representing every corner of the world prepared for Culture Night. And I'd say the preparation paid off. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. The experience I have of the culture night is so much fun. This is why I like BYU Hawaii because it gives so much opportunity for you to to learn um, different cultures. And uh, for me, I actually am um, um, representing Thailand, so um, I have a very very good experience for me and also the rest of the students from um, all over the world will be able to um, to learn from one another. And you know what? I like the energy of the uh, the culture night where everybody come together and they sing and they you know they scream and when you sit there in the hall and you have that energy this is so incredible Next year, I, I joined the one last year. Uh, it was a great experience for me you know, to see other cultures and um, you know, the, how they are very creative and um, putting efforts to uh, show forth um, you know, their cultures and their, and their um, tradition. Uh, tradition. And um, this year, so far, it was a great experience. It's, uh, it's great to see um, other cultures and how uh, how this uh, uh, culture night, like this uh, activity, uh, bring them together, uh, provide more happiness and uh, that spirit of uh, unity and uh, things like that. Everyone worked their hardest and performed their best for this grand production. But there was one student who went above and beyond by participating in four different clubs. Adam Conti met with us for an interview and talked a little bit about his Culture Night experience. My name is Adam Conti. I'm an exercise science major and I'm uh, two years in. I feel like Culture Night was a perfect opportunity for me to um, experience, you know, another one's traditions and their dances and uh, it makes me feel more unified with uh, just the people of the world. So during the last culture night, I performed in the Native American Association. Um, I'm part Native American, so I really wanted to be a part of that one. I'm also president of that club, so I thought it'd be pretty, <laughs> you know, a good idea to, to dance in it. Um, I did that one, and I'm also Filipino, so I wanted to join the Filipino club, so I danced with them. Um, I grew up in Arizona, and in Arizona there was a Samoan dance group, and I grew up dancing um, Samoan and so I've always wanted to do it here on the stage so I did that and um, I always liked the New Zealand culture I've always liked it and um, there's a lot of similarities between the culture of New Zealand and the, the Native American people so I've always felt a connection with them so I really wanted to dance um, their culture as well so every every night two hours so you know the 9 to 11 9 to 11 dance practices so for the first hour I would go to one culture and then the second hour, I go to a different culture. Yeah, the whole semester I would uh, practice, yes. Bailando la noche cultura, I mean, performing in culture night was an experience I'll never forget. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with all this free time I have now. I have an idea. How do you feel about arts and crafts? I'm totally into arts and crafts. I figured. So how about making a lay? Sounds like fun. <laughs>
say we hope you enjoyed this show almost as much as you enjoyed Culture Night. And good luck with finals, everyone. They're right around the corner. Get studying. We'll probably see you in the library for the next two weeks. Until next time.